back to my channel. My name is Gem. Um, please do not mind this look. This is actually editor Gem. The reason why I'm here and I'm the first thing you're seeing right now is because the original file that was supposed to be for this intro got corrupted. I, I don't know how. I tried editing on Premiere on my PC and it just did not work out. Secondly, I'm very cold, okay? In LA right now, it's very, very cold and the heater, I can't even use the heater right now. So I'm just bundling up here, okay? I know I look like I'm in New York, but yes, I'm in California and I'm freezing my butt off. But yeah, the whole footage got corrupted and I'm a bit disappointed because it contained a lot of babbling and informing you guys on what I'm gonna do in this video. But basically, TLDR, I am going to be assembling the Sarah Keys onto my High Ground Bare Bones kit. And if you guys don't know, I'm a high ground partner. And the Bare Bones kit is also in the always available collection, which means you guys can use my code GEM to save a little bit of money on your purchase for the Bare Bones kit. I'm also very new to the keyboard realm. Shout out to High Ground for choosing me as a partner. I'm very honored. Um, and honestly, they're kind of the reason why I'm developing so much love for keyboards and expanding my taste in keyboards. And I was really excited about Syracuse because the Syracuse have this very simplistic, minimal look to it. I know there's no font or anything, but the way it looks, the glossy look, the high quality feel to it from what it looks like, um, I really love it. I've been waiting for a restock for the longest time and a couple of months ago they restocked and finally got it, which by the way was a little bit pricier than I imagined. So I'm gonna attach that with some new switches. And by the way, because I am not a big keyboard enthusiast yet, I apologize in advance and let you guys know that I probably will make mistakes as I'm assembling these. So if you catch me, you know, making mistakes, let me know in the comments nicely, okay? This is my first time, like, you know, just documenting this. So, without further ado, let's get it started. So these are the Syracuse I got. These actually were about $100 and I got the full set. And I got everything in white blank because I just like an all white setup. If you guys don't already know my aesthetic, that's kind of like my go-to. Wow. This is beautiful. It's so clean. It's got a really good weight to it. Listen to this. It's got a good like thickness to it. It feels incredible. It's a little bit translucent. You can see some light emitting through it. This is the B set. Now, the bare bones kit is only gonna have a 75%, sorry, 65% keys to it. So honestly, I don't even need to use all of these, but we're probably gonna need some. This is the switches I'll be using for the bare bones kit and this is the banana milk switches and this is already pre-lube and I felt like this was a perfect uh, switches to get so I didn't have to lube it. I actually got this from TwitchCon. This is from the same seller that sells Halo Halo switches and I really love the Halo Halo switches. I personally don't have it but this was their recommendation for someone who's just starting out. So we're gonna find that out on the high ground bare bones kit. I have Dreamland switches in here, they're linear switches, and I believe I added my own switches to it. I cannot remember on top of my head. Also added this keycap from Amazon, and it's got like Japanese text on it. And I personally like the look of it. Now, it feels a little bit lower, so I am ready to take this out, but I'm gonna give you guys one last look before I switch these out. Also, um, the keycaps itself is very cute, but it's a different tone from the actual base itself. I also wanna add that my nails, I just added these nails, so it's gonna Kind of change up the sound of the keys when I type into them. My nails are looking cute, you know? 
So here are the tools I will need to remove all my keycaps and my switches. I actually got these from High Ground. If you have purchased a High Ground keyboard before, specifically Summit, you'll get the switch remover a tool to remove your keycap. So let's go ahead and start with that. Here you can really start to see the different switches that I've added and I believe this is from Amazon and this is Dreamland switches. This is how it sounds. Hear the difference? This is very hard to grab because it's so glossy, so I have no grip either. Wow. It's got such a like weighted feel to it. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I don't know if I'm pressing it down hard enough, but very weighted. It's got that deep sound to it. So now it's done. Oh my god, it looks so clean. There are some keys in here that I feel like I didn't put properly. If you really, really look closely, there are certain keys that just doesn't look the same. It doesn't look symmetrical. Like each key kind of looks different. And I don't know if that's a me issue, if it was a user issue, but right now it looks okay, but I can tell that certain keys have different levels. I think I lost the box to the actual Siri key set. So maybe it is a user error. And for the sound test, I love that. You can hear the ceramic cling like the ceramic clingy sound to it like the the ceramic bell sound like sounds steep kind of has that like plasticky sound i don't know why maybe it's the switches maybe i'll try different switches next time but i love clean glossy minimal look to it
I cannot believe how well this turned out. I really thought I was gonna mess it up even more because I don't see any font, nothing. But the best part about it is that it's lighting up so beautifully. Like, it looks like candies. It kind of reminds me of the High Ground um, Opal Bay 65 but I actually have that one in the base camp. Oh my God, I cannot wait to customize everything and it sounds great, but I do wanna be honest and say that I think it could sound a little bit better. I guess I was expecting more talk. Um, I don't really know how to achieve that yet, just yet. I probably, you know, the switches probably were not pre-lubed. I swear, I thought they said it was pre-lubed. One thing I should also try to factor in is the fact that it is made out of ceramic, so maybe the hollowness could kind of affect its sound, if you know what I mean. Um, again, I am not a keyboard professional at all. I mean, I've switched out keycaps before, but I can't wait to learn more and delve deeper into the keyboard hobby. I really hope I don't end up spending a lot of money because I know a lot of keyboard hobbyists or enthusiasts spend a ton of money on editing their keyboard and you know, if you love it, you love it. If it makes you happy, you're investing in yourself. That's just how I see it. But anyways, I wanna thank you for just, you know, hanging out with me as I built this little thing here. I honestly don't even know how well I'm gonna type but I think I'll get used to it eventually. But yeah, if you guys wanna see more videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel because I notice a lot of kids are not subscribed to my channel. Come through, subscribe to my channel and hit that ring bell button so you get notified every time I post, but I've been posting weekly. So hopefully I see you next week. Don't forget to follow my socials for more content and yeah, have a good one guys. Happy new year, bye.